What's going down, T Cells and T Squad? So y'all saw I canceled the laugh for the night because I really didn't feel like it, but I still watched both episodes just so that I could be caught up for the week and all that good stuff. So I'm about to give y'all both episodes in this pre-recorded, and y'all will be all right. Love and Marriage Huntsville. Love and Marriage DC. This is season three. This first part is episode 11, Defensive Linebacker. So Joy asked, because we start back off where the episode left off that last week, and that was at Arena's Week relaunch. So Joy asking the ladies, why was the thermal comment brought up and talked about again? To be real, I'm over the thermal comment. I really don't care. All right. Um, if there was a thermal Carmen, not even a part of it no more because she a snake ass hood rat. And just like I told majority of y'all that she was. Uh, she won't nothing but a thirsty ass, opportunistic ass bitch that 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 use whoever she could use to be on reality TV by any means necessary. Okay, in my opinion, she's another tad ass Sunny Maddox that that's y'all gonna force on us doing Love and Marriage Huntsville. That's just who Carmen is to me. That's what she gives off. So I really just don't care about that no more. Who cares? Who cares? Like they don't they don't even with each other no more, the three arms. So at this point, does it matter? No. Ashley and Quick at home, and she tells him about her conversation with Winter about their issues with communication and spending more time together. She brings up couples therapy and he agrees to go. Um, we'll come back to that later because yeah, they still in the same boat. We'll, we'll come to that once we get down to the reunion. Lady E and Lil Jim Jam setting up for Big Jimbo's retirement party, and she asks him how their relationship has been lately. He feels that neither one of them have time for him um, to hang out with him anymore or, you know, really ever like talking about it. Um, you know, he's saying that, you know, when it comes to Lil Jamie, um, not Lil Jamie, when it comes to Lil Jason, they do stuff with him and they plan stuff with him and so on and some such. But when it comes to him, he feels as though not only Big Jimbo, but as well as Lady E don't have the time for him like that. That's how he feels. That's what he says. And he feels in this moment that Lady E is deflecting from the fact that he also called her out about not having that kind of time for him. And I got to tell you, Lady E, I do believe your son. I believe your son. I believe your son, everything he says about y'all, I do believe it. And it's no shade to you, Lady E, but I do, or Big Jimbo. I live for the both of you. But I, I totally believe Big Jimbo, and what, I mean, love Jim Jam. And what he says, and hey, you was deflecting. You was deflecting. Because even when he brought you up in it, you reverted it back to Big Jimbo. And it's like, nah, Lady E, answer the question. Do you also not have the time for him like he like he wants you to like yeah because see i don't want to get too deep involved in all of that because i don't know their family dynamics or whatever the case may be and maybe they all have gotten better since the show and i hope that they did but um mm -hmm. just saying lady e. moving on so Joy and Ashley meet to go shopping for big Jimbo's retirement party because y'all know Joy is gonna sing at it and Ashley says that she felt attacked by Carmen. <coughs> Joy says that Carmen felt the same way by them. And says as, as much as she likes her, um, she loves her friendship and relationship with Carmen and Clifton um, much more than the like for her. And what happened between her and Clifton at the suite, she can't get past. Listen, this is what I am going to say. Joy, you confused the hell out of me. Because in one minute, y'all are laughing, talking, lollygagging, kicking, joking with each other. You're dancing around, playing around in in in, in that gaudy ass store. You know, just 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 having fun with each other. And we said, oh, okay, cool. And then the next thing, here you go with this foolishness. Oh, but what happened at the suite? I just can't get past. Like joy, and again, I and joy. I've been riding for you, but. That's some fake ass shit. Like, I'm just going to be real because what was the point of all of that? Like, in this instance, Ashley was blindsided because y'all were having a good time. Unless that was fake and phony and fraudulent. 
y'all were having a good time with each other. And then the whole mood was just completely dampered. And, and, and like, I, I don't know, Joy, I'm not going to lie to you, sis, but you definitely confused me with that. That really confused the hell out of me. Because it's like, how, how do we go from you're having a good time with her to now you sitting down and you just like, oh, well, I don't think I want to be your friend like that because you and my husband can't move on. And what happened at the suite, I just can't get past. Like, it was just seemed to me, if that was the case, there was, shouldn't have been no reason for no meetup. There shouldn't have been no reason for y'all to have no camera time like that. Like, in that moment, I get Ashley's frustration and I get why she went to hell on your ass because that was too much for me, Joy. And for you to be so real, you just should have been real in that moment and just got all of that out the way from jump versus sitting around lollygagging, kiki and softening up the ice, making somebody think that, you know, y'all really are trying to work, work on something. Like, and again, did she have to tell your business? No. But did that have to turn into this? Not really. It's not as if y'all been friends for over some eight, 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 10, 12 years and she should know better. Like, whatever. I ain't gonna lie, Joy. You you really confused me. Like, I was definitely on Ashley's side within this episode. Well, on that particular situation, I was on Ashley's side because it was like, what the hell was all of this shit for? This was a waste of damn time, Joy. Moving on. Big Jim, uh, Big Jimbo's retirement party, honey. So Ashley tells the group what happened with Joy. Now, Ashley, you was very animated. She didn't give all of that. It, it, it won't. She, she it, it won't. It, it won't know. Gone with the wind movie special, honey. All right. It won't all of that. It really won't. But whatever. Moving on. Joy sings her song slash her rose. Quick leaves the party early. Cl uh, not Clifton. Carmen comes through round him. Um, Carmen, I don't, I don't fool with you at all. And I, I agree with Lady E. But see, I ain't never fuck with your ass. I agree with Lady E. You're a backstabbing ass snake. You're a snake. Like, Joy was sitting here riding for you this entire season from what we saw. Then the minute that she leaves and then you get up amongst them. Now you want to sit up and throw her under the bus and, oh, well, I don't like what she does this and I don't like what she does that. And like you and Ashley sitting there having like a small little kiki at her expense. And it's just like. And y'all wondered why I'd never fooled with Carmen from the very beginning. A lot of y'all wondered why I did not see it for Carmen. Now y'all see why I did not see it for Carmen. I'm a very good judge of character, and I knew that hoe won't shit when I first saw her snake ass. I, I, I could tell a snake from a mile away. I told y'all she wasn't nothing but a snake in the grass. I said it. And I agreed with Lady E, 1,010%. Like, like, Carmen, you looked foolish. You look foolish, you look simple, you look childish as hell, and you wrong as fuck. Like, there's no loyalty in you at all. None. Whatsoever. You don't even know them damn people. And if it wasn't for Joy, you wouldn't even be around here on this damn show. Moving on. That's all I got um, for the first part um, of that thing. Let, um, let, let me move on from her before that bitch pissed me off. Um, do me a favor before we move down to the reunion. Like, that is some snake shit. If I have ever seen it. Like you just got to the party. You ain't even put your damn coat and your purse down before you came around there ready. ready. Anyway, Love and Marriage DC. This is season three, episode 12, Reu You Part One. Lady E and Big Jimbo's real. So Ashley says that Big Jimbo been going around town talking trash, calling her an alcoholic. And Lady E and Ashley get into a challenge. They really got into it. Like, they're not friends for real. 
excuse me, they're not friends for real. And see, that's usually what happened when you when you find yourself in the mix of these subservient ass relationships, be clear. Because and I live for Lady E. But Lady E, you you was riding the coattails of Ashley all first season, all second season. I'm just gonna be honest, Lady E, as much as I see it for you. I I I, li- I like you a lot, Lady E. I do not think you're a bad person at all. That's why I don't ever give you too much. But that's what happens when you be riding coattails, friend. All right. And you finally decided to wake up and remember that you're 12 years older than her. All right. And it's time for you to wake up and fail some Folgers. But, but at this point, it's it's too late. The dynamics, uh, the dynamics of the friendship has, has been made. The foundation has been set. And it just is what it is. Now you trying to come from under it. And I'm glad that y'all, but like the way that y'all sat on that stage and cussed each other out, it's kind of like, were y'all ever really friends? Did y'all ever really view each other as friends? Like the way that y'all sat up there and tow each other down to the white meat like that, and then y'all still doing it. Uh, It was entertaining though. I, I wish it was Robin and Giselle because I actually don't want y'all friendship to break up. I want y'all to stay back. It, it would be nice if all of y'all could get along, but this is reality TV. I know that'll never happen. It'll be nice though. Anyway, Lil Jim Jam mental status comes up. Um, where he is in his life right now. He and Ashley's conversation in the bad, the bad kid comment. Like I said, quick. You could have used a better choice of words. Saying that he was he was a bad kid, like, come on, quick. Like, if anybody ever said that about Antonio or Ashton, you would be the first one ready to have a heart attack and a conniption over it. So you have to understand where Lil Jim Jam was coming from, where Big Jimbo and Lady E was coming from. That's their child. It don't matter how old he is. That's still a damn child. All right? And if you don't want nobody calling your two cheering bad kids, then yeah, you really need to find a better choice of words. Um, I'm glad, I am glad to know that Lil Jim Jam is doing better in life, that he is getting himself together, that he he's working now, he has his mind, because you know, an idle mind is a devil's playground. So, so long as he has his mind on other things and it's not just sitting around being idle, I really feel like Lil Jim Jim Jam gonna be all right. I'm rooting for Lil Jim Jam. I like Lil Jim Jam. Be cool, people. Um, <clears throat> Lady E and Big Jimbo's past relationship trouble. Here's my thing, and I love Carlos King, but do not allow Carlos King messy petty ass and all of his messy meddlesome ass questions cause y'all to have an issue with y'all marriage where there do not need to be one, all right? Ain't now one of y'all cheating on each other. I don't believe that. I don't believe Big Jimbo want another woman. I don't believe Lady E want another man. I believe that they are very happy and comfortable where they're at as they should be. Carlos, go on somewhere, friend, with all of these messy ass questions, man. You good for that, Carlos. You good for getting up here asking some messy, meddlesome, petty ass questions. You are, Carlos. Moving on. Because ain't nothing wrong with them people marriages. Stop trying to act like it is. Ashley and Quick's real. So Quick being a workaholic and where does the desire come from? Child, Quick don't even know. Quick gave all of these answers. But what I just think it is, is there's just some people that's born in this world that are meant to work. And they feel like if they're not working, they're not they they're not doing anything. They feel like they're wasting away. Um, yeah, them the ones that that um you know go home to glory quicker, quicker. So I really hope you get your life together quick. All right, because your churn is growing. Ashton is what 15, 16? He damn near he damn near overgrown and rusty, taller than you. Over damn near overgrown and rusty at this point. He old enough to work and have a license. And Ashton is not too far from him. Quick, you really need to figure it out. All right. Because you only got two kids. You really need to figure it out, quick. That's all I'm saying. Um as she said, quick um chooses his career over her. 
And she says that she's very financially stable, that she basically don't need quit to live the lifestyle that she has now. She can live it without him and that she can walk out that door anytime she wants to and won't feel a way about it. I don't want that for them because I like them as a couple. I feel like them two as a couple works. And I know a lot of people like to talk trash about them or make fun of them as a couple in the dynamics, but I feel like for them, it works. So no, I don't want that for them. Like, quick, get your shit together, nigga. Don't sit over here and lose your wife and your family because you just feel like you gotta work, you gotta work, you gotta work, you gotta work. Like, don't work yourself to an early grave, friend. And don't work yourself to a point where you really miss out on your kids' lives because that's really what it sounds like. You, when you're missing time with your wife, more often than that, you miss the time with your with your kids. Get it together, my brother. Anyway. Quick has a gone to therapy with Ashley, but Quick, why not? Quick, you got time to sit and do every damn thing else. Why don't you have time for your wife to sit and work that out? If if you're the main one who says happy wife, happy life, well, your wife isn't happy. And she's telling you to your face on national TV, she is not happy. And she's been having this issue with you to season one. Again, Quick, get it. Together, see, quick, you don't have time to be out here with this imaginary play play fake ass beef that nearly got your thick ass tossed up later on in this episode with Clifton when you have your wife sitting beside you saying, Nigga, I'm not happy. Like, you don't have no time to be out here playing around with this imaginary play play beef with Cliff. Moving on, <coughs> bless me. Joy and Clifton's real. It won't now one. Well, it was. Um, I was in the bathroom, so I ain't miss nothing because it really won't nothing much to Joy and Clifton's real. It wasn't. The beer, oil, uh, Carmen, fake ass, and um, Ashley and Joy. Again, Clifton, not Clifton. Quit. Not calling you no pound. I'm not calling you a pound. But I, but I am telling you, you can't do a thing with Clifton. And did, did, this, is, this is what a lot of people mean when they say a lot of time, you women will really get your husbands, boyfriends, baby daddy jump offs hurt and or worse. Because my thing is, none of this would be happening had Ashley never approached that man and said anything to him. Absolutely nothing. This wouldn't be an issue. There wouldn't be anything to sit to have said. There wouldn't be anybody trying to fight nobody, especially when it comes between the men. Quick, I'm not mad at Clifton at Clifton for coming at you the way he did. Because you wanted an issue with that man, all in your confessionals, and we saw it all damn season. And I told your ass all season, you don't need to have one with him. He wasn't wrong at checking your ass like any other real man would. And then when he says something to you and he checks you, then you want to jump up and pump your chest out and beat on your chest and do all the rest of it. And you're not scaring nobody. Quick, you damn sure didn't scare him. You didn't intimidate him. Nothing. 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 It's like... When you look back at it quick, you're going to see how silly you look. No shade to you quick, because you know I like you a lot. I like all of the men up there. I, I, t I say it all the time. I like all of them niggas up there. All of them. Ain't none of them there. Nothing to me. But I'm telling you quick, when you look back at this reunion, you're going to see how silly you damn look. You do. And when you look back at the season, you're going to see how silly all of this is. Because all of this is for nothing. He didn't do anything to Ashley. Nothing. He did absolutely nothing to Ashley for any of this to be going on. You sitting over here finna get your thick ass tossed up over nothing. Because he didn't do Ashley anything. He didn't do Ashley nothing. Now, one damn thing. I don't know. Like, you saw it for yourself. Quit. He did not do anything to her. <sighs> I, I, I mean, I guess. 
I guess quick. Whatever help, whatever help you sleep easy at night, my brother. Um, I, I hope it work out for you. Because you gonna need it. <laughs> you gonna need it. I'm just saying, you gonna need it quick. All it is. <laughs> because Ashley just had to say something to that damn man. And you don't know how to tell Ashley, Ashley, baby, with this one, you did entirely too much. And another thing. If you can get me together in, 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 in privacy, there's nothing wrong with you getting me together in public. It's all about how you do it. It ain't what you do, it's how you do it. I don't know why uh, why you feel as though it will be such a big damn deal or, or it'll make you look like this or look like that for you to tell your spouse, baby, you're wrong. You handled that situation in, in the worst way possible. And now this could have been a real big conundrum. There really could have been something deep between me and him when you didn't even have to say anything now. There's nothing wrong with that quick. I don't know why you feel as though that there's something wrong with that. I want a nigga like that. I don't want no nigga that I, I can walk all over and run over. No, I want somebody that's not scared to tell me, nigga, chill out. Like sit your ass down somewhere. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not that shit. Quiet as it's kept quick. Ashley might like that shit. It might turn on. You might get some pussy when you get back home at night. Like, we like that shit from time to time, especially when we are wrong and we know we're doing too damn much. And then you come around there and put us in our place. That shit make us a hot queen. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Damn. Like, that's why people want to know is you're scared. If you're scared, quick, say that. I believe you. <laughs> okay if you scared say that i believe anyway i breeze right by both of them honey that's it that's all i ain't got no more <laughs> y'all jump down in the comments y'all let me know what y'all thought about this 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 is what i am gonna say since since that since we did the finale or whatever this season was very confusing in a lot of different ways. Nothing made sense. And it was so damn long ago at this point for y'all to only give us basically 13 episodes. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. The Duncans were not needed, desired or required. And I like Sherelle, but they weren't needed. 13 episodes, and the only thing we got from the Duckers was Sherelle and that badass wig. That was it. We didn't learn nothing more about them. We didn't get nothing more from them other than them tired ass wigs. That was it. That was all we got from the Duncans and the little yang 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 that Black and Joy had. Other than that, they were, they, it was a wash for them. No shade to them, but they were a wash. Not needed. Um, Winter isn't coming back. I'm sad about it, but maybe it's a good thing that Winter isn't coming back because I don't want reality TV to change good people. So if Winter feels as though she don't want this no more, I'm fine with you not coming back, Winter. I'm gonna miss you, but I, we follow we, we follow on Twitter, honey. So I be on. I, I I know how to keep up with you, girl. The Silvers ain't going nowhere. Okay, the Silvers ain't going nowhere. They're gonna be right there. And the talents ain't going nowhere either. They're going to be right there. As far as the petties go, I don't know. I personally don't see no reason for them to come back because it's just always going to be this awkward thing. And I I'm sick of that. I'm sick of that. It's always going to be this awkward thing. Quick ain't going to never let it go because he got something to prove. Um, You know, and Ashley going to be Ashley. And it's just like, what's the point? What's the point? A brain going a fresh new couple that actually fits with these group of people and actually have something interesting and entertaining going on because other than Clifton's beard oil, Joy, and I, and I like Joy. I like Clifton too. He's so fine. But y'all really didn't have anything either. Other than this beard oil and what's going on between you guys and Ashley, there was really nothing. And I mean, the thing between y'all and Carmen fell flat and it did fall flat and it is flat because y'all don't even rock with her no more. She turned on the both of y'all. So, you know, that's done. 
You know what I mean? And it's like, so what are y'all going to come back with in the season four? It's still I again with, 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 with the Silvers and being cool with the Talis. That's boring. We done been there, done it. So I feel like the best thing for y'all to do is just get a brand new couple. All right. So that y'all can get to know. It ain't got to be somebody that y'all already know. I, I think it's best for y'all to get somebody that y'all don't know like that. And then y'all can grow and get to learn them. So it ain't got to be no hierarchy. Well, I bought you on the show so, and I recommended you. So you, your loyalty need to be here and all that shit. No, let it be somebody that Carlos King brought up there that ain't got no ties to the, to, to none of them. And y'all can grow and build from there. Maybe then it'll be more organic and, you know, interesting or whatever the case um but yeah that's really all i got girl i ain't got no more and with that having been said i'm gone bye